welcome to my new desk. What do you reckon? Man, I've even got a remote. Watch this, I can change the colors. Blue, green, red, light blue, turquoise, orange, slightly darker red. So anyway, my new desk. What do you reckon? Hopefully this, this should look pretty nice now. Now I want to get some things on the back wall here because at the moment it looks pretty bland. I got my Star Wars posters and stuff, but it looks pretty boring at the moment. But uh, it will, this will get better and probably more interesting to look at the more, the more I work on it. But at the moment, this is my new desk. So today I wanted to talk about, now a lot of you guys have been asking for game reviews. But here's my problem with game reviews, is that I don't freaking finish games at all, ever. Like, usually I'll, I'll either play like half of them, or a quarter of them, or anything like that, but I never actually finish them, or I just play the multiplayer. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get down every game that I own, and I'm going to go quickly through all of them, would I recommend them or not? Now, if you want to see me actually do a proper review, or if you want to see me play one of these games, or something like that, absolutely any of them, then let me know in the comments below and uh, I can do a live stream of them, we can play it together and maybe we can uh, maybe we can start actually either finishing <laughs> I highly doubt that'll happen but maybe we can actually start working on some of these games and if you want I can start putting out some uh, some more proper reviews for them but first of all, let's get the games down let's just have a look at what I've actually got well, let's get started. First one is Minecraft Would I recommend this game? You know what, maybe if you're 12 years old I would Deal with it. NBA 2K14, awesome game. Uh, however, 2K17's just come out. We're three games after this one, so I'm just gonna put that one to the side. The Elder Scrolls Online, uh, I have not even, I've not started this game. I literally, I put it in my console, I've updated it, it's ready to go, but I've literally done nothing. I've not made a character, I've not started anything, I've done literally nothing for this game. So this is something I can't even recommend at all. Uh, if you want, we can play this game, I can do some live streams, we can set up a character together or something like that. I don't know, you let me know what you guys want in the comments below, but I've not even started playing this. I got it cheap for like 10 bucks or something. Something like that, and I thought, why not? But I, I've not even played it. Little Big Planet 3, awesome game, but there was no customization in it. it, was, it was not as much as I thought there was. Like, I sort of thought once I play through the story, maybe I'll have a few more costumes and things that I can choose from, but nah, you gotta go, you must have to go and find them, or maybe buy them. I don't know, but I didn't get as much customization as I thought I wanted out of that one, but it's probably a case of I've actually just gotta go looking for them more. I, just, I never really went looking for them. I just thought maybe if I finish the game, then uh, it'll I'll have plenty by the end of it. Yeah, not really. The Evil Within, I've played like one level of this, and that was all, and it was freaking- I, I just got lost, basically. I could not- I could hardly do anything. This is another game that I'd be happy to play with you guys if you want me to do that, so let me know in the comments below if you want to play that one, but that's another one that I've hardly played any of. Freaking best open world game ever, The Shadow of Mordor. This game is absolutely brutal. The only problem I have with it is the fact that once I killed Ushbucker, uh, I, I really, I, I had no ambition to do anything else in this game, but I can highly recommend that. That is so fun to play. Go and play this game, for God's sake. I can do more videos on this if you guys want me to. If you don't know what I mean by Ushbaka, go back to my Shadow of Mordor playthroughs and go and look. They're, they're old videos, like, they were old when I was editing on Movie Maker and stuff. Go and have a look at those, though. Go and have a look at me trying to do the hunt for Ushbaka. That was an awesome game. Go have a look at that. Far Cry 4. Now, of course, Far Cry Primal has just come out, but this is a freaking awesome game, and this one is, has a lot of memories for me in the sense that I did a lot of me and E's on this game. Uh, we had so much fun in this game. We got so many fun times on Far Cry 4 that turned out to be so funny. Go and have a look at my Far Cry fun times if you haven't seen those in a while, and I'd be happy to do another couple on that game if you want me to with E. Um, let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know what you want to see. God damn it, we're not even halfway through. Holy shit. Until Dawn, I played this fully with you guys. This is one of the few games that I have actually finished. I think I've finished this twice. Or nearly. Nearly. I nearly finished it once, and then we had to start it again. So, I, I could probably... We can play that again. If you want. If you want to see a playthrough, we can play this again. Maybe on live streams or something like that. Uh, and we'll go through and make completely different decisions and see how we go um, doing that. Maybe we can play it again after that if you want and see if we can keep everybody alive. I don't know, maybe. You guys let me know what you want to see. Journey. Now, this game was actually free on the PlayStation Store not too long ago. Uh, if you did not download it, you missed out on a beautiful game. This is just so pretty, this game. It is absolutely beautiful. Now, this one comes with Flow and Flower. They're really just two mini games, but the, the music and the graphics in these games are just hypnotic. It's absolutely incredible. I highly recommend that. If you have not bought this or did you not get it for free, go and pick it up purely if you want something to relax, because this is an absolutely amazing experience. So it, it was it was really cool. I'm gonna play that again actually. Fallout 4. Now this game is cool. I can definitely see why people play it. My only problem with it is that I can never stick with these games long enough to enjoy them as much as I should be. 
I like, I, I just don't play them long enough. If you guys want, we could do a playthrough of this. I could do this on live streams or something like that. I would, t I would probably take it way back to the start. We'd go right from the beginning because I honestly have no idea what I'm doing with this game. I don't know what I'm doing with any of these games. Any games like RPGs or just, you know, free exploration, build a character, all that shit. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. You guys would have to tell me what to do at every turn if we play this game again, but let me know if that's what you guys want to see. We could do that for sure. Next one is Dragon Age Inquisition. Highly recommend this game. This game is an absolutely awesome RPG. Now, this is so cool. This is another one though that I just can't stick with long enough. I stuck with this one longer than I did with Fallout 4, and I keep trying to make more characters and just start again, um, because it is really captivating. This story is really fun. The exploration is amazing. It's awesome leveling up. I love this game. I wish I could stick with it longer. I just, I don't know. I'm a first person shooter dude. What can I say? <laughs> Dark Souls 2. Too hard. Couldn't get past the first level. Pissed me off. I put it away straight away. Need for Speed Rivals. I really got this because it's a driving game. I probably, there's far better driving games than this out there. But in saying that though, this game's actually pretty fun. I think I'm going to cop a lot of shit, but you know, I got it really cheap. Maybe that was the problem. On day one, when it was a full price game, this would not have been worth it. But now that you can get this super cheap, I actually would say go and pick this up purely because it it's pretty fun, like, it's pretty fun driving around and fart assing about it. It's actually pretty enjoyable. I, I, I would recommend now that it's cheap. We're halfway through! Yes. Mortal Kombat X, probably the most violent game I've ever played ever. Frickin' pick this game up, this is so frickin' fun. I get it, God damn it, get it. The Division, now this game was way too small. In, in my opinion. You can't replay side missions over and, uh, again and again. It, the missions did get repetitive, there was not a lot of depth to it. The Dark Zone just failed completely in my opinion. In saying all of that though, it looks incredible, it is really fun. When you're playing with friends, this game can be a heck of a lot of fun. Um, I would I would rate 7 out of 8. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> nah, it's alright. I, I, maybe once the price comes down a little more, then I would go and pick it up. If you can get a pre-owned or something like that, I'm not going to be paying for the DLC at all. That's It's just not worth it, in my opinion. In saying that, I'm not disappointed that I got the... I'm not disappointed I bought any of these games, because some of them I'm not a big fan of, but at the same time, I've got them, and I will actively play this. I'll whack this in, and I'll get hooked on it for a little while, but I think you really need friends to play The Division, I reckon. If you're playing it by yourself, I just couldn't get into it. Um... I don't know, that's that. God, Black Ops 3. Now, I'm not a big Call of Duty fan, but I needed a Call of Duty game. I'm a first person shooter guy. I really just got it so that if I was in the mood for Call of Duty, I had a Call of Duty to whack in. I'm not going to be getting the new one at all. I was, you know, I'm, I don't know. I can't say I was disappointed by this one because I really had no expectations. I just got it because it's a COD game. But Battlefield's way better. What are you going to do about it? Assassin's Creed Unity. I thought this game caught you know, copped a lot more slack than it deserved. The the glitches and things like that with the faces disappearing and it just be eyes and a floating mouth, I thought that was hilarious. I was actually a little disappointed they changed that. My only problem I had with it was the frame rate, but they ended up fixing that pretty well. As, uh, they ended up fixing that as well. And so, you know, I actually think this game's pretty dang fun. It's really fun to uh, just wandering around, doing whatever you want. I don't know if Synd Syndicate would probably be better for some people, I don't know, but this is a classic art, the, you know, Assassin's Creed. It was the first one to sort of bring it back to Assassin's assassinations and uh, actually setting up your target and going in and trying to get the kill and stuff. They finally made combat more difficult rather than just button mashing and you would practically invincible. I thought this was really cool. I love the customization, I love the clothes, I love the French Revolution as a, bat as a background. A really violent, horrible time. Um, and it makes for an awesome game. Uh, I would recommend that now, actually. I would definitely recommend it. I reckon that's a lot more fun. I reckon it copped a lot more than it needed to. Destiny! No Man's Sky! No, I'm kidding. No Man's Sky is actually not too bad. It is way too expensive though. It was, it's, it's very relaxing. It's very, uh, it's very repetitive of course. It doesn't go anywhere, but at the same time, what other game can you fly around, mine materials, leave a planet, look into the sky, look at another planet, and literally fly there? And then go look at a star in the sky and go, look at that star, I'm gonna fly there and then do it. You know what I mean? It's just the, the open world exploration is ridiculous in this game. However, that's it. And so I still think it's overpriced. Maybe when this is pre-owned and the price goes down to maybe about 30, 40 bucks Australia, then, then I would pick it up. Then I could definitely recommend it. At full price though, Overwatch. Awesome game. It is too expensive at the moment. However, in saying that, 
This is a bit different because this is made by Blizzard. They're gonna have free DLC coming out with this for ages. It is a lot of fun. Maps are coming out already. Characters are coming out already. Everything's for free. They're just gonna build on it. It's Blizzard, guys. They're gonna be building on this a lot for ages. I would definitely recommend. Go and pick it up. It's a lot of fun. If you like first-person shooters, this is actually surprisingly difficult as well. It looks like it's gonna be pretty easy. That's what I got from the first vibes. I was like, the cartoon characters and the cartoon feel makes it, you know, seem like it's gonna be a piece of piss, but it really isn't. This is a really difficult game. Really good first-person shooter. Very well balanced. Very good looking. Free DLC will be coming out for a while. Go and pick it up. Awesome game. I love it. Battlefield Hardline. Story was boring. I, <laughs> I never, I got like three missions into the story and then put it away. But online was alright, I guess. It's, uh... I had a lot of fun probably with Funtage this game. Probably the only reason I really enjoyed this game was when I was doing me and E Funtages. Uh, they were really cool, dude. They ended up being some of the funniest videos I've made. In my opinion, I really love making them on these. I can do some more on that if you just want me to. Let me know what you want to see. Doom! Awesome game. My only problem with this game is it does get a bit repetitive. Um, as it would from a Doom game. In saying that though, if you are in the mood for a violent shooter, old school, run around, follow the story, even if you don't give a shit what it is, the character in this is a freaking badass. Everything about this game is badass. It's gory, violent, horrible. It, it's freaking kick ass. Would recommend 8 out of 8 while I finger my prostate. The Witcher 3, game of the year. Pretty sure I gave this game of the year as well uh, for my, you know, end of year run through, which will have to be coming up in a couple of months, by the way. Awesome game. Huge open world. Uh, another one that I can't get fully into, but I've probably, when it comes to single player, you know, RPG, run around character games, I've probably put more time into this one than anything else. In fact, I even went and bought Gwent. Gwent is the most fun side game ever I've ever played in any other game. I don't know why I got so hooked. I reckon I spent more time playing Gwent on this game than I actually spent playing the normal game. And I had to go out and get a deck, of course. How could I not? Awesome game. Would recommend. 2K16, 2K17 has just come out and it's absolutely killing me. I love this game though. I love NBA 2K. I want to get 17. I'd love to do videos on it, but I'm pretty sure you guys wouldn't be big fans of basketball videos. But if you just want to, let me know. But I love this game and I'm a beast at it. Evolve. Freaking amazing game. However, way too short. Absolutely, ridiculously way too short. And now no one's playing it because everyone hates it because it's that short that it wasn't worth buying, which is frustrating because this could have been one of the most badass games ever. And I absolutely loved I played this non-stop for like the first couple of months when it came out. Probably not a couple of months. But I played it for ages when it first came out. Uh, this could have been way more. I'm a bit disappointed in it, to be honest. Um, would I recommend... Uh, Battlefront, we all know this game. I still need to do a live stream of the Death Star DLC. That'll be coming up sometime this week, trust me. Don't worry, it will be on its way. Cool game though, very cool game. It is pretty small. I only play multiplayer though, in the sense that I really didn't care about single player. I didn't care about side missions. I was only ever gonna play Walker Assault and Fighter Squadron anyway. Any other game mode that was gonna, gonna be on this, I didn't really care. And so, you know, the lack of detail didn't really affect me on this. More maps. It, there should have been more maps. There's a lot. I could go on forever about this game. Would I recommend? Uh, when it's cheaper, I think. That's all I can say. Rainbow Six Siege is easily my favourite game at the moment. I play this game more than anything right now. This is a freaking amazing game. You don't need the season pass. Everything is unlockable if you hook in and you grind the game for a while. Of course, you can get the season pass to unlock characters quickly and stuff like that. However, none of the all the maps are free. All the maps come out immediately. Um, all weapons and stuff are free. All attack, anything like that. It's a crazy game. Awesome fun. Super difficult first person shooter. Super tactical online multiplayer. The community has been growing more and more for this game instead of going down since release. I love this game. Cannot recommend it anymore. And finally, my best game of all time. Battlefield 4. This is my favourite game ever. If I had to pick one game to stick with forever, it'd be Battlefield 4. This is my game. Mm. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Absolutely love this game. If you've not got Battlefield 4 and you're looking forward to Battlefield 1, get this freaking game, man. I love this game. And I will play it with you. I don't even care. I love this game. Go and freaking get it. Alright. There are my games. Those are all the ones I've got. I have got a couple more on my console that I don't have on disc, um, such as like Rocket League. I've got MLB. Um, I've got Tricky Towers. I, I don't know. A few games like that. Um, Outlast, I have got Outlast, Outlast is amazing, probably the best horror game I've ever played, but anyway, if you guys want to see me, uh, do a more thorough review, or if you want to see me start any playthroughs, if you want to see more live streams of any of these games, be sure to let me know in the comments below, uh, I'm gonna put this away for a second. 
Okay, <laughs> what, do you, what do you think of the new table? Does this look nice? Is this pretty enough for you guys? I hope it's a bit more pleasant to look at. But make sure you let me know if you want me to play any of these games. If there's any reviews you want to see. If you have any video ideas at all, let me know. If you've got any news, any gaming news, anything, any opinions you'd like to hear, or anything you'd like to hear my opinion of, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Let's switch this to blue for the finish. Yeah! <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. TK out. Have a good one.